today, no white slip gear for me because it's my kitchen, my rules. Yeah. Jake's kitchen, his rules. Yeah, he doesn't have a cool shirt like his mom though. But he's still trying to rock those dance moves. We're doing everything we can to try to make you laugh. Whoa. Is that how you do it? I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Okay, so today we are going to be making pancakes from scratch. No box, right? Nope. No shake and pour, none of that stuff. So please feel free to make these pancakes at home and hopefully we will be making them in school. So I'm going to show you them as a two-day recipe, but if you are doing this at home, you could do it um, all in the same day. Um, what was I going to say? Sugar. I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, it'll probably come back to me. All right, so Jake and I know we already have, we've washed our hands. Very good, 20 seconds. Soap and water, scrub, scrub, scrub. We have our aprons on. Sleeves are up. My apron is on. Okay, you know, we're good to go. So we've put our names on the line so we know what we're responsible for. And then we're going to try to teach you things as we move along. All right, so I'm gonna start with one egg bee and oh, now I just remembered what I was gonna say. I will also attach the pancake recipe uh, to either in Teams or possibly on my e-board for you in case you do wanna prepare this um, at home, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna do one egg beaten, so I'm gonna grab my egg and I'm gonna need something to beat it. Now you could beat it with a whisk, but it's gonna be hard to get that in the custard bowl. So I took out a fork all right, and while I'm doing this, Jake is gonna be measuring one cup of flour. So I'm gonna give him the flour. He's gonna need how many pieces of wax Two. paper, Jake? Two, because he's gonna level off over one and then put the measured ingredients on another. He's also gonna need a one cup measuring cup as well as a leveler and a spoon, all right? And while he does that, like I said, I'm gonna crack my egg. I'm gonna crack it on the side of my custard bowl. Hopefully not get no shell in it. Oh, sugar again. No shell in it. And it looks like a good egg other than the fact that I did get a little shell in there. So I'm just going to take a small little measuring spoon and get that. So Jake was supposed to be eating these afterwards. However, it's about 11.56 in the morning and almost noon by the time we're getting to this. So he's probably just gonna have some lunch instead. Okay, cause he's, oh, let's see what he's done. So he hopefully lightly spooned, leveled off. Now he says this big piece of wax paper, however, he's getting it on the counter. Way to go, Jake. Okay, that's my boy. <laughs> Mama well, teaches him well. Now there is another video we made that we left something on the counter. And I, when I look back at it, it was killing that we left in there. And it was killing Mr. Sour too, like saying, what was that on the, on the counter? So we're gonna get rid so of that today. Why are you just throwing stuff around? We're not here to make the kids laugh. I wonder what we could do today to make them laugh. Okay, so you're gonna put the cap on that. Cap. No capping. No cap. No capping. And he's going to get rid of the wax paper, or you could reuse this, but let's get rid of this. It's on our counter. Oh. <laughs> I just got warped. Okay. But we can't stop the video. Because it is what it is. Now, watch. Wait, I, I got a cord. Watch. I hope you're laughing, students. This is all for you. I already had a pancake video. I don't know if you watched it on YouTube, but we're trying to do a more recent one to try to make you laugh. On your expense of your teacher and her son, too. Okay, so instead of him standing there with his arms crossed, he should be looking to see what his next ingredient is because I still haven't finished my first one because I haven't stopped talking. They're probably like, Mrs. Sauer, enough. All right, so mine says one egg beaten. He's measured the flour and he's supposed to be measuring one tablespoon of sugar. So he also needs, again, that sugar. You're supposed to be doing Oh, I'm supposed to be doing that. I'm sorry. I'm doing salt. I'm, he's doing the salt. So you're still gonna need two pieces of wet. Looks like we're <laughs> running out of salt too. So you're gonna need two small pieces um, of wax paper. Okay? And he's gonna need a leveler to level it off. So 
I try sometimes to make the box kind, but Jake's like, no, I want them made from scratch. But I think like last weekend, I actually, when he wasn't in the room, I quickly made it out of a box because all I had to do was add water. And then I asked him, how were the pancakes? He said they were delicious. And then I said, mm, they were out of a box. So I guess they are just as good, but you have all these simple ingredients at home. You could make it from scratch too, okay? So I beat the egg. I'm gonna just put that to the side. He has, so he's gonna make sure that that is a half teaspoon of salt, and he's gonna try not to get that much all over, and then he'll put the measured amount over there, and I'll be doing the sugar. So uh, so it has a little pouring spout, uh -huh. and you pour it like that, and you do it close to the piece of wax paper. And I'm gonna grab a tablespoon and I'm gonna oh that's yours oops my bad my bad <laughs> lots of mistakes today I'm thinking of all the questions I could actually ask you my students so Jay, tell the students what you've been doing the past couple okay. days and um, he even made a PowerPoint as if it was a school project tell them what you want Jake a golden doodle he wants a dog. So he actually put together a PowerPoint and sat mom and dad down and said, here, I want to present something to you. And he presented a whole PowerPoint. Tell them what was in the PowerPoint, the reasons why you wanted a dog. I mean, I could get it. Well, I don't know if they want to really see it. Oh. Okay, maybe uh, on another video. Don't so remember. He said like similar, like similar pros and cons. Similarities and differences. So, and why he should have one because he said he's an only child and it would be like having a sibling. No cap. <laughs> cons? What were the cons? Mm -hmm. Were there any cons? No. I don't know if there are any cons, but he's pushing. I'm going in the direction of maybe wanting a dog. Well, I love dogs. I love dogs, but there's a lot of responsibility. But to this them one too. doesn't shed. And this one doesn't shed. So that's one of my biggest concerns because we used to have a black Labrador and there was black hair everywhere. No matter where we went, how much we swept, it was there. Okay, so that was our dog, Summit. Unfortunately, she's no longer milk. with us. Okay, so I did the sugar. I'm going to be doing the vegetable oil and Jake's going to be measuring the milk. milk. So remember, Jake, how you measure milk? What kind of surface and at Flat. what level? Okay. Using what kind of a measuring cup? A liquid measuring cup, and the students know that from our milkshake video. So are you at eye level right now? I'm about to. Okay, Just so he's trying so not to get it all over the place like he did um, before. <clears throat> it's probably going to happen. That's all right. So I only have one custard bowl at home, so I'm just gonna use a little small bowl that I have. So if you don't have a custard bowl at home, just use any kind of bowl that you can uh, place it in. And your teacher's not at your home, so if you don't even wanna put it in a bowl, you don't have to put it in a bowl, okay? But I'm just trying to teach you the right way how to make pancakes. No more wrong ways, but a lot of you did like the wrong way milkshake uh, video, so I do thank you for all, all your comments on that too. All right, so I'm gonna do two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Is there anything else no. that you can measure for me while I do this? Uh, yes. So why don't you grab the baking powder for me? I don't know what that, what that is. So it's the uh, one oh, that says it. baking powder. I can see it. So much for 4.0. Oh. 4.01. Oh, 4.01, he has to rub it in. No, 4.01. They can't hear you. 4.01 something. 4.01 something. So he's going to now need the tablespoon also. Now the tape, can you just grab a napkin? Because the tablespoon I just used for the vegetable oil, so I'm going to try to get some of the excess out of there. And then he's going to show you that with the baking powder now, do you know what baking powder is used for in the pancake shape? To make it get bigger. So it's going to make it get bigger, yeah. So that means it's going to help the pancakes right. rise. Okay, so actually the baking powder has a leveler already on there, but... <gasps> What don't you have to put your measured ingredients on right now? Wax paper. Wax paper. So he's gonna go like that. He's gonna level it nicely. And then he's gonna put the measured amount on the piece of wax paper. Okay. And he's gonna tap it out and swatch. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. So 
I think we have everything, so let's check. We have one egg beaten, we have one cup of flour, we have our tablespoon of sugar, we have two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one tablespoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, you did that for me, and then one cup of milk, an eye level at a flat surface. So let's have Jake look at his milk right now because it looks to me as if he didn't measure it properly. It's so little, it looks to me that he has high. a half cup. So one cup, Jake, is way up here. Oh, I thought it was half a cup. Okay, so that's why Mrs. Sour checks before you put anything in a bowl because Mrs. Sour, or mother, wants you to be able to eat these. So he knows again, he needs to bend down, mm -hmm. eye level. If you're not at eye level, you've got to bend down. I will, it's just I kind of don't want to. Okay, little, just a tad more. Oh boy, oh boy, oh no. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Oh. Those muscles. No. My kitchen, my rules. Put that back exactly where it's supposed to go. All right. So in school, I would check all your measurements, making sure you have one cup and not a half cup. Okay, that way you're able to eat. Okay. So it says, in a so if you're at home, you wouldn't have to do it this way, okay? But I'm gonna show you how to do it as if we were in school, okay? So it says, in a small bowl, sift together the flour, the sugar, the baking powder, and the salt. So Jake's gonna take the small bowl, and he's actually gonna place the sifter right in that small bowl, and then he's gonna take the wax paper very carefully with the flour, and he's going to put it through the sifter, and then he's gonna do the same with the sugar, the baking powder, and the salt. And I'm gonna be doing another direction in a medium bowl. I'm gonna be whisking the milk, the vegetable oil, and the egg until combined. Okay, oh, okay, oh, okay. oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, I got it, you got it, you got it, a little out. Okay, so you did the flour. Oh, here, how about an excuse me? Excuse me, ma'am, it's miss. miss. You're making me sound old. I'm young forever. Okay, and then he's gonna lift up the sifter and sift it and make sure it gets into the bowl and not all over the outside of the bowl. Okay, now I'm going to take the whisk and be kind and just whisk this and not do nothing to him. So mine says to whisk the milk the egg a little until I'm very aggressive individual and I'm gonna do it like a professional. Okay. So in school, this is what we would do. So Jake is gonna take a plastic bag that we have over to the side and we use the small bowl so there's, uh, there's no disaster that happens. So what he's gonna do is put that whole bowl, not here where it could fall, but he's gonna open up the bag. He should be able to do this by himself, not by yourself. He's gonna then, yup, he's gonna put this down and he's gonna twist the bowl, I mean, turn the bowl and make sure all those dry ingredients get into the bag. He's gonna zip it up, making sure that it's zipped because I have had students use all of that mixture. And then I'm going to, I hope this container is big enough because we just roll with it here. I'm gonna put this. So you may think that didn't take too long, we'd be able to do this all in one period, but trust me, it, it takes too much time in school by the time you guys do everything and then you come in day two, okay? So that's not what they're gonna do. They're gonna carefully put it in their bin or hand it to their wonderful teacher, right? And theirs is gonna be labeled with their, why are you laughing? I'm not a wonderful teacher. Tell them what a wonderful teacher I am. And a wonderful mother. Thank you. Okay, so that is day one of pancakes. <laughs> I guess I'm not a wonderful mother. But at what? least maybe my students think I'm a wonderful teacher. Oh, well. Trying to make... Okay. All right, so he's going to turn the video off. And we're going to get ready for part two. Or day two or the second half. All right, so Jake, I'm waiting for Jake to turn the video off so I'm not, yes. Dun, dun, dun.
Trump. <laughs> okay, now he's becoming Donald Trump. Why? Adios. Your, your, your finger's in the video. Okay, 